Two chairs is awesome. Wow. I got that a is so cool. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Windsor Village Church family. Welcome to your STEM event. I am uh, Dr. Calvin Mack, your STEM NOLA, and I am honored to be here to talk to you about STEM and have my team work with you on this uh, STEM day where you're going to study friction. This is ELF. ELF is a humanoid. A humanoid is a robot that tries to act like a human. I'd like to bring up my friend, Monica Foley to give you greetings today. Good morning, Windsor Village Church family. I am so excited about today's STEM experience. Thank you for joining us as we revolutionize what STEM looks like. We are going to normalize our community in STEM careers all over the world. And it starts right here, right now, today. Next, I'd like to bring up uh, one of our college interns, Holly Griffin. It's called Screaming Balloon. So when we spin this, <laughs> it sounds, <laughs> it sounds crazy. It sounds really fun. People say it kind of sounds like a lawnmower that just kind of went out of control. And we're excited about this day. You, all of you all have your kits. And I will catch you second graders. You all are going to make your own hovercraft. A hovercraft is a vehicle. Uh, that overcomes friction and creates a bed of air along the base. In our third to 12th graders, you're going to make your hovercraft and it has a motor, so you have to be very careful. So, let's get ready to go build. Take your marble and go ahead and put it in your test tube. Yeah, so as you guys can see, my marble is actually at the very top right now. <gasps> I see it! So we call that one the screaming balloon, right? Because sometimes it sounds like it's screaming. All right, so for the washer and for the penny, we didn't really hear much. Now when we put this one in, it's gonna sound a little bit different than the last two. Amaya, you think it sounds like a car? Yeah, kinda, huh? What are we gonna rub this balloon on to give it static electricity? Anybody wanna guess? When you're spinning the centripetal force spinner, it should be able to move up and down on the stick. Is it spinning? Perfect, good job. Let me see everybody. Ooh. Awesome, y'all did so good. Yeah, I can feel. We're gonna put our balloon right on top. It's moving, it was moving. It's moving? Okay, blow it up again. So it should be looking something like this. So for the next step, we're gonna need our cotton here. So it should look like this. You should have all three of them connected, all three of the battery packs connected. Oh, she does, oh yes, that's very, very, very important step. She has to cut a square in the plastic. Yeah, you, you rub the balloon on your hair and then you dip, you kind of, we had confetti on the table and then we put the balloons and it just goes on the balloon. Absolutely, you want to be able to expose them to to everything. And I think the science is, um, is an important thing for them to be exposed to because I don't think it's something that's really, really pushed. 